in vitro, a sweet love bitter fruit prelude short. Doctor's office. Marcus looked at another huge belly passing in front of them and glanced at Tony. Being around so many pregnant women couldn't be easy for her. She sat poised and beautiful, flipping the pages of a magazine with her tapered fingers and garnering the usual admiring looks when they were in public. Her black bobbed hair swayed as she moved her head reading. He was damn lucky she gave him the time of day that afternoon at his parents' house. Their gazes met, and he became hooked and determined to make her his. He glanced down at the diamond ring and smiled. Mission accomplished. You all right, babe? He asked, wrapping an arm around her shoulder. She lifted her head and smiled. I'm fine. She looked around the waiting room. A bit nervous. I know I shouldn't be. This isn't our first time doing this. He stroked her cheek. Tony Kent was not the nervous type. She was typically the one making everyone else feel better. The tension on her face meant she was more than a little scared, but not admitting to it. It's going to be fine. The softness in her brown eyes melted his heart and steeled his resolve. He drew her closer, kissing her forehead as she laid her head on his chest. He really didn't want to do more in vitro treatments, but it meant so much to her that he couldn't say no, despite seeing the disaster ahead. She looked at him. Her full brown lips spread into an electrifying smile as she lowered and raised her lids and stroked his arm. Okay. He held her tighter. The first treatment was a horror show. Their experience wasn't at all like what they saw in the brochures and books with pictures of smiling couples, pregnant women, and mothers holding their newborns. A pit grew in his stomach. She may be ready for this, but he sure as hell wasn't. Tony. Tony Kent. They stood. Keeping his hand at the small of her back, they walked up to the nurse in aqua scrubs. Hi, I'm Laura. The tiny redhead smiled. Another beaming face masking the torment on the other side. Follow me, please. The pit grew inside of him as she led them through halls and to an examination room. Laura kept grinning the entire time she examined Tony before leaving them alone. It was the same routine they endured for months now. He moved back and forth on the stool, staring at Tony's painted toes while she swung her feet from the table. His phone buzzed. He flew his hand to a pant pocket, taking it out and silencing the sound, echoing off the cream walls, decorated with charts revealing more than he wanted to know about the female anatomy. Tony pursed her lips. You can answer it, Mark. I'm not going to blow up at you. He rose from the stool and nudged it backwards with the back of his knees. He could smell the setup a mile away. There was no way he was falling into that trap. He rubbed at the goose pimples running up her arms, making sure the woman in the paper gown got the message that it was all about her. Nope, this is more important. I want to focus. She wrapped her arms around his neck. Thank you for being so patient with my moodiness. I know it's been all over the place. He squinted. What, you? He pressed her lips together, making bumps on his arms that matched hers. You've been fine. A huge lie. She had been far from fine. Their home, the place where he found peace from the world, became a hormonal war zone with Tony Prime for battle. It had gotten to the point where he either hid at work or at the gym, waiting out her latest mood shift. But fat chance that he was going to let her know how much it drained him. He was her husband, her rock, which meant sucking it up and taking whatever it was she had in her arsenal. Her lips twitched with his. You're lying. She smoothed her fingertips along the back of his head. And I appreciate it. But let's be honest. The past few months took a lot out of us. He encircled her waist. I can't argue with that. But we managed our way through it. And we will again. He reclaimed her lips and pulled her closer. The world, problems past and present faded. He always found so much happiness in her arms. There was a soft knock at the door. Okay, you two, Dr. Aldris glided inside. Ready? She asked, smiling and shifting her gaze between them. He stared at Tony. This had to work. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that audio short of In Vitro. It's a short story prelude for my next novel, Sweet Love, Bitter Fruit. 
book two in the Brothers-in-Law series. You met Tony and Marcus in book one, My Way to You. Now get a sneak peek into their story, their lives, and their struggle with infertility. If you want to read the rest of the story, visit www.laylawrightslove.com slash short stories and become a subscriber. You'll have access to the rest of In Vitro and other short stories that I have. While you're there, you can visit the Sweet Love Bitter Fruit page with awesome character profiles and other information. And you can also get access to my blog and all the great stuff that I have there, as well as other information about me and the great things that I do. So don't forget to visit. And I look forward to reading with you. Salam alaikum. Shut up and sit down. Thank you.